What is up, you awesome kisters? This is Sister Reactor, guys. Today we're reacting to debunking the worst FNAF hoaxes. So make sure you guys hit the like button. Uh, wait, I, I did that backward. Hit the like button, subscribe to Johnny the Night Guard, and uh, comment down below. Let's get into it. Bop! FNAF is hiding something from us. Believe it or not, in just about every screen and every corner of all of these games, there's a <clears> monstrous <throat> and distorted version of one of the already unsettling characters. If you play Night 7 with Bonnie on difficulty 5, go to the kitchen camera, take a screenshot, and brighten up the image, you get this. This can only mean- What the fuck? Scott made FNAF purely as an excuse to write a map- Yo! <laughs> Even he's laughing too. Yo. I don't know who the hell made this image, but I'm coming for you. I swear to God. What? Who in their right mind, like, made this image? And why did we let it go viral to the point where MatPat actually had a baby with a fucking animatronic in the books? I'm coming for whoever made this shit. And, and you want to know what's funny? The, the original creator probably got, like, a nice ban from Scott, too. Probably got, like, a couple, couple of Gs for that idea. That impreg story. <laughs> Stupid. Short before it gets any more out of hand. In the midst of it's all already out of hand. Last year, an interesting trend began on TikTok. People would post random in-game renders and brighten them up to reveal a really creepy and strange image. The funny I don't remember is, any of these, man. Awful photoshops, making most of them unintentionally hilarious, and you'll see why soon. But the TikTok algorithm ate these up. You know, a fun fact about these um these pictures. I think I learned something on uh Twitter from Kane Carter. Apparently we've been doing like the brightening of like FNAF images wrong all these years like if we use the actual game jolt teasers and brighten them you'll get like a clear picture according to King Carter I hope I said all that right too because I was just doing that off the top of my head but yeah we, we get all this grain and all this stuff when we brighten it up because we've been saving the wrong pictures we should just use what Scott posted on game jolt for the teasers intentionally hilarious. but, he, but I, don't, I don't remember him posting it a lot on game jolt so uh. And you'll see why soon. But the TikTok algorithm ate these up, and people in the comments even gave. Of course they did. They're stupid. Why one of these fake Easter eggs existed? Why did these obviously fake? FNAF well, I can't say they're stupid because they're all part of the same community. We're all, we're all part of FNAF, but but some some of y'all are a tiny bit slow to be to be believing everything you see in a damn TikTok. FNAF hoaxes get so much attention. That's the question I'll be trying to answer in this video. But with these, what the hell? I can't make any promises. In late summer of 2023, an account called Brot or Brot69 started Brot. TikTok slideshow. I'm shadow banned. FNAF is hiding something from us, and would then show a normal-looking screenshot from one of the games, and then a brightened version of that same image. Sounds pretty boring, right? Well, a lot of these videos blew up despite their simplicity. Something about this trend piqued everyone's interest, including me. I think I know why these were so popular, but I'll explain that after I show you some of the videos in question. Yeah, I Have need to see this. Deformed Bonnie? I'm pretty what? sure this is where he came from. What the hell? I can, I can see it. Can you see him? He was yeah. Right there. Ew. Oh, yeah, half the time you can't see what he's trying to point out to you. It requires you to take a screenshot and brighten it, which I guess is kind of fun. But because of that half- Kind of fun, but saying, then like you I get that false engagement to understand why this and everybody gets so the story wrong. Backstory. Legend has it, and by legend, I mean the text in the FNAF 3 Fire newspaper. Scott was haunted by a nightmare where Bonnie was in the hallway outside of his room, and he rushed to hold the door shut, but it was already locked. Meaning Bonnie was in the room with him already. Oh uh, hell no! Nah. This nightmare is inspiration for FNAF 4. So people think he added this deformed Bonnie in the hall as a reference to what Bonnie looked like in the real nightmare that inspired the game. This was a fun little internet legend to spread around, and soon people started trying to prove. Or Wait, what did that say? It's because when Scott was testing the game, Bonnie moved around when it wasn't scripted, and Scott had nightmares of a deformed Bonnie. Or disprove the screenshot. Sure enough, if you take a screenshot of the unbrightened image in the slideshow and brighten it, you get what looks like Bond from the Walton Files. But if you take an actual screenshot from the game, there's nothing there. Yeah. But before I get <laughs> why I think these were so popular, I have to show you some of my favorites so you can understand why. Ew, what is that? So Let me know which one is your favorite. Which was that Phantom the Baby? One or the one that's genuinely unsettling. All right. So Phantom Baby is definitely Gavin the unsettling one. one. Yo. So first we have. <laughs> The ultimate custom night office. Little did you know, B Rot found something. I have no <laughs> idea what it's gonna be. Oh look! Deformed Bonnie. I noticed that. Dude, how do we? How do we not notice him? It is kind of funny if someone's just posting deformed Bonnie every day on their account. 
just getting engagement off that. Then everyone starts to think it's real. Wait, Walton Files and like FNAF like connected, like same same timeline. Well, speaking of timelines, Walton Files came out like three years after this game, so he's just ahead of his Scott, time. Scott Cawthon is a time traveler confirmed. <laughs> the ball no pit. Way. He hopped in the ball pit. Bro's, de bro's definitely time traveled Next once one, in his life. The breaker room, even older. Oh, they oh. just got phantom oh, baby. Oh wow! Whoa. <laughs> Deformed scrap baby. Scrap Deformed baby. scrap baby. That's what we're calling that. Pizza That's pizza phantom pizza. baby. He's had it all planned I'm out. Never... Dude, That's too green to not be phantom that, baby. Uh, ball pit. There's no way, bro. Yeah, FNAF three. This would be insane if we see like Walton Files in this one. Then that confirms the theory for sure. That confirms. Is there a shadow on the floor? <clears throat> and. Okay, I don't... I don't see nothing in this one. This, it looks like something was added here. There's like some vaguely yellow pixels right there. It kind of looks like a uh, phantom Bonnie. Like I'm thinking about Golden I'm Freddy. Seeing, what is it called? Paradalia, but I think that is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you guys comment down below yeah, what you see what right you now. See? I don't know where Scott was going with this one, but I'm sure it means something. Even as early as FNAF 2, little did you know, Scott. What's that? The darkness. Like... <laughs> the same. Dude, that's... The no, fuck is that? No way. What oh, it's baby. That no Scott idea. To tell us. Oh boy, I can already. Oh, Baby's been there since the beginning. No way. No way. <laughs> No, that's not what I think it is. Oh my god, it is what I think it is. Scott, More deformed Bonnie. Using your Easter egg. Dude, Scott is so unoriginal, bro. Yes. FNAF 1, oh goodness. It better not be Scrap Baby again. It's gonna be Bonnie. I'm so angry. Would it be Rock Fine? Oh, that is actually oh. the Walton Chica? Is that? That's Walton Files, like, Spring Bonnie. I don't know if he has a different name. Walton Files He's Spring Bonnie? Around the corner. He's just split in half. Maybe it's Spring Trap. He, like, what is it? The hidden room in the back or the safe room. Maybe this is... Where's his face? Escape and he's walking around the I don't even know Walton Files That's had that. Had to, like, I'm need to actually watch the Walton Files <laughs> at some point <laughs> in my life. Of that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, another FNAF 1 banger. It's funny to me how low quality the images are just from the start. These have to be unedited. Oh no! Oh, no. no! Oh no! You better stop before Scott makes another like. Oh my God. Bonnie, but it looks just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it like. Oh, yo, there you go. There you go. There you go. We're getting some. Maybe. Giant Foxy confirmed. That's not. This is actually. Uh, that looks like a a bird. Like a damn duck. I don't know what the hell that is or goose. Now there's Chica. Ooh, Finally, something wow. different. It, it's in the lamp right now. It's like a ghost, or it's in the lamp. I can't yeah. tell. Whoever is watching this video, make fans. Oh, Chica be next right to the now. bed. I have a strange feeling about this one. <laughs> there are still Shy, deformed to Bonnie. Through, but first, I just wanted to say, as funny as B-Raw hoaxes are, he should really credit the creators of the fan art he uses for his hoaxes. After we recorded this, Gavin. Oh Allen, God, that Foxy actually looks terrifying. And most of them come from the Twitter account Hush Puppy Art. His stuff will be linked in the description. And will be Hush Puppy right Art. Now. He makes some incredible fan art, and I really wish B-Raw had given him the credit he deserved for these amazing. That Chica movies. one goes crazy. A puppet one, huh? You know, you know, B Rot and Scott behind Is that the scrap baby again. It's got the face, it looks like it might have the why body. the hell is the animatronic so big? It also, it must be like a phantom or a hallucination or something because it's quite literally blending in. It's, with yeah, it's just a dead person, it's just like so, the light itself. Let down if you can't tell what you're seeing, even when you manage to find it, but exactly, you know, I, I don't make the rules. Uh, circus baby poster. Oh, wow, look at, it's, <laughs> It's scrap baby yet again. I'm I'm not I'm just Where? so surprised. Oh sorry poster, she's like in the doorway, I guess. <laughs> he, he he made the whole game around that character. Yes. I also have a theory about what this all could mean. <laughs> oh, my oh no. God. So you I don't even think baby's that small things from way in the future of FNAF. Some in the future of real life. So how could you be playing through a game? And seeing like visions of things from the future. That's a good question. What I if, might have to make a short about this. Maybe. Hold on. What if this means that it was all a dream all along? <laughs> the he dream theory. So Easter eggs that he just had to show us. He just wait. Had to... What if like, what if B-Rot is like the future version of Scott? Oh. None of us <laughs> solved it. So he came in the past and he like just put all these like hints. 
That's what Scott would do if he was a genuine time traveler. Time traveler. Paradox right now or something, dude. Why is it almost believable that one of the most picked apart games in history? Like they're they're joking, but I can see that shit. Like Scott would really be out here like making Easter eggs as his future self to show us the shit that we missed in the past. Have so many hidden details. First of all, and then just write them off as fake. B Rod is acting like a mini Scott coffin here. In the days of the first five or so games, almost every teaser Scott posted would reveal some hidden detail or character if you brightened it up. Stuff like this is why the FNAF fandom is so rabid. You had Scott training these people to pick apart every pixel he posted from a young age. But what happens when you have a new generation of fans who are infants when all the early games released? Yeah, I was gonna think it's real. It's weird as hell. I can't personally speak to how they feel since I was a fan. How do you do, fellow kids? Years old when the first game came out. But I'm guessing it seems like the first games come from some golden air where anything was possible even as a slightly older fan the air of mystery around the old easter eggs was and still is entirely unlike anything god in the, the screenshot universe. there's no golden freddy equivalent in security breach there's no it's me and help wanted too all the secrets in these games are clearly a part of normal gameplay no matter how cool and meta they may be the mini games and easter eggs in the first two games though genuinely made you feel like you were seeing something you weren't supposed to be seeing before this mm. time to do a nine hour long video essay on the history of every FNAF easter egg i'll get to the point i think hoaxes like this exist because people miss the feel of the old games the idea that there's yeah. always another secret hiding just out of reach they miss not knowing I do miss the Scott game stuff every mechanic of each game when I first saw B-Rot's videos I believed them but not in the way you think I thought what I was seeing was just some pixels arranged vaguely in the shape of Bonnie and that people were squinting at it and saying hey that's an alternate version of Bonnie one consistent <laughs> thing about these videos is how low quality they all are most of them are kids posting screenshots of screen recordings of other kids deformed circus baby which turns into a game of telephone for video compression. In a funny way, don't let Scott see none of this, bro, because then he's gonna make another FNAF 4 type of game where everything looks terrifying as hell. There could be some random mass of pixels in Cam 10 and FNAF 2 if you mess around with the image enough. It's like those four second memes that are only funny if they're low quality. When you see the uncompressed version, all of the magic is gone. I think God damn, I put all that compression on there. I didn't... <laughs> the super video was clear as hell. These hoax videos take me back to the time where we didn't know anything about these games, so it felt like anything was possible. It's giving Sparky the dog. Like with most horror, the best parts of FNAF are- I wish I was around during the Sparky the Fox host, or hoax. What we know what we don't know. The lore, the head cannons, the That must have been so annoying. Thanks so much for watching to the end of this video. If you enjoyed mm. this one, I'm sure you'll enjoy this one. You can click here to watch where I reviewed the fake FNAF 2 movie trailers and even attempted the to fake FNAF movie 2 movie, movie trailers. Soon. Quick shout out to the channel members. Uh, I'm glad to watch that. That would be, that'll be hilarious as hell. Anyway, guys, um, that was debunking the worst TikTok FNAF hoaxes by uh, Johnny the night guard if you guys want more johnny the night guard on the channel make sure you guys hit the like button comment down below subscribe for more to become kids today and i'll see y'all later peace out